arbitrary. I can't bring you ten volumes of science textbooks. Well, it's not arbitrary. You, you don't have take to the trouble that. and learn science and stop it. I'm off not your asking for that much, Alexi. I just want one shred of evidence. Quantum mechanics. Nobody, nobody sees that. Relativity. Nobody sees it. There's wow. loads of things. You know, Modern science is very, very, very advanced. It There's amazes loads me, of folks. Information how that's gotten indirectly and that seems incredible. Okay, this information is used for modern medicine, technology, all the many, many things about? that you enjoy you in your life every day that make your life better. Okay? You're ricocheting off the walls. I don't even know. I can't even follow you now. Oh, please. You're not still showing this. This, uh, you know, nothing sixth really grade means textbook. nothing. Well, it's from 1989. It's not that old. No, it is. It's very so, old. By so, the standards okay, of, of I'm shutting you down because you got me pinging all over the place. My brain wants to refute like ten different things you said. Uh, <laughs> look, if this is wrong, then who's to say we can trust today's scientists? If it only, if if scientific truth doesn't last more than two decades, why the heck should we believe anything they say now? There is nothing that has lasted. It. Give me a break. It says right here. Nothing really means nothing. If truth doesn't enjoy the, uh, it, thanks. <laughs> That's all it takes to get this applause. You rather have the information from 1989 than from 2009. That's what you're saying. You, what you're saying is idiotic. That, that's beyond. called the fallacy of novelty, which says if it's new, it's true. Well, here's what I say, folks. That if, because some some atheists will say the Bible never changes. You know, it's this. this dry, dusty, religious book, and it doesn't change. Science is good and noble because it changes. That's not good. If truth is truth, you wouldn't ex it wouldn't change, you know? You know, atheism, or evolution, rather, is kind of like a, a fog. It kind of fits the landscape so that the evolutionists, whenever they come across any bit of data, they will say that it proves their worldview. It's kind of like a kid um, who knows he's lying either he's deceived himself for so long that he no longer knows he's lying or he's gotten himself caught in this lie like with his mom wow settle down don't harass her don't harass her leave her alone um, don't say that he was the one yeah he needs to behave too all of these guys tell me hey chill out guitar dude <laughs> Whoa! All right. I, w I was saying that uh, as far as uh, evolution, I kind of see it, the scientists proposing it, as like the, the little boy who's been caught in a lie by his mommy, and he knows his mom knows, and so he lies some more about it, and the further he gets into this lie, the deeper he gets, the more he can't let it be known. So he keeps covering it with more and more stuff, because... Evolution can't go down in the history books as the biggest scientific blunder of all time. So they have to keep promoting the lie over and over and over again. I remember doing this when I was a kid. I, like got, I knew I got caught. I knew I was busted, but I lied like too many times to just fess up. I had to keep holding on to the lie. And that's just like evolution. You know, she was mentioning something about uh, uh, quantum mechanics and, and black holes and stuff like that. I find it amazing how an atheist... Well, I don't know about white holes. There might be some of those. <laughs> Never mind. I won't go down that road. Uh, that they have a problem with the doctrine of the Trinity and say it doesn't make sense, but they can hold on to fantastic notions like string theory and and brown holes and white holes, <laughs> uh, as if that doesn't make if, as if that makes sense and is any less fantastic that somehow you know you can. Uh, be going into the, the future and the past at the same time, so long as you're traveling towards a big black hole of nothing. I mean, wow, that's pretty amazing. Some remarked it was, oh, what, something she said that uh, if I needed a heart transplant uh, or a bypass, yeah, don't go I on. sure as hell wouldn't want Obamacare with the <laughs> rationing that uh, they're going to oh, have yeah. with that's that hurt me personally. and the age that I am. Forget it. They just let me wait until I had a heart attack. You can be sure of that. Yep, yep. Oh, she likes Obama. I don't like Obama. 
that's going to make healthcare uh, maybe open to more people, but it's going to uh, make the quality of healthcare go down. It's going to make it harder for me, a health practitioner, to uh, uh, find work that is reasonable. It's already a, a difficult enough industry to work in. Now it's going to make it harder with less employees, more uh, workload, more that's demanded of them. And so I don't like what Obama is doing at all. Um, but that's another issue. I mean, more debt, more taxes, more welfare, more regulation, more government, more wasteful spending, more corruption. Yeah, let's in see. fact, Where I don't know you? if people knew this, but the uh, income tax is but, illegal. But, but bad. the uh, liberals were all squawking about how Bush was driving us into bankruptcy. Obama spent three times in six months what Bush did in eight years. And you don't hear a peep out of the liberals. Not one damn peep. Now, what in the hell is that about? You know, I think they would have liked that war if it was uh, some Democrats war. And in fact, the matter is, actually, it was because uh, Bush actually that, Roach. is more of a liberal than a conservative. How dare you? I don't care what he calls himself. He's a rhino, Republican in name only. All right. He's a liberal. Yes. And a, a Democrat should like him. Back on that air. You that know, company. the most important thing you can have on a camper is a good propane regulator. This here is the best one to make. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I sell propane and propane accessories. Just don't paint your cat's butt blue. I'll tell you what. Okay. Hey, um, I was uh, wondering, someone here said that uh, you were, this was nothing more than Christian propaganda. Yeah, and, uh, Alexi was saying that. Uh, well, why, why did, why did I mean, to define propaganda? propaganda, I think anyone who is uh, putting forth a viewpoint uh, would also be put into the same camp. Uh, I don't have necessarily a problem with the term. Propaganda, propaganda, but, but usually it's meant in a negative con connotation, in which uh, case it mean, it's like a, a brainwashing. Did she define kind of, her terms? Not really, but like I don't have a problem saying I'm brainwashed in a sense, uh, but it's willing. You know, brainwashed in the negative connotation that it's mostly used is uh, that the individual being brainwashed doesn't know it's happening, like little children, you know, uh, being indoctrinated into a certain system. And uh, as I, I heard once out here, uh, my brain needs some washing. It's all tainted and, and dirty. So let's get more of this in here. Yeah. You got a slide. Yeah. Evolution anyway. is extremely stupid. Uh, it's unscientific. It uh, has offered nothing for the uh, benefit of humanity. You know, she would say, "Well, scientific advancements uh, have been, uh, you know, with, with within the medical career field." Well, what what uh, are the scientific advancements? There's, there's not have one thing. I don't think any surgeon really cares about the origins of, of mankind when he's doing a, a heart surgery or, uh, you know, some lab technician is, is uh, testing the blood for different constituents. They don't care about that. What's the they, don't, they don't care about creation, for that matter. It doesn't matter. Well, what's the Period. connection between advancements in medicine and evolution? Nothing. But uh, wasn't that a connection that was trying to be made? Well, she was basically, I think, making the point that we should deal with modern uh, research, and I agree with that. Um, however, a, a textbook from 1989 in the medical industry is not going to be much different uh, from today. Because science, technology changes, not gonna be science wrong. doesn't There might be change. some additional things, not a detraction or taking away from other things. With evolution, they're taking away and totally remodifying their viewpoints. So that that which was in the past is no, it was wrong. It was misinformation or lies. At best, you have is misinformation. Okay, so when you're talking about medical science, although I would want the the best, most recent stuff, that doesn't mean if I go to a 1989 textbook, it's going to be wrong. It's just going to be a little bit less precise or a little bit less information than we have today. That's all. Oh, thank you. But it, but it was a textbook for children, for 12 year olds, for 10 year olds. It's totally useless. So, it's a metaphorical child's definition. No, it's used in schools to teach them science. It's not meant as a story. For, for kids! Yeah, and, Come on! Tom! Have a little humility! Oh, dang, you're so loud. Humility. There's no, there's no would sound. You, would you tell me? So tell, tell the kids, tell the little kids lies because that's what's best for them, just like Santa Claus.